Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again, and today we are finally playing some Twisted Metal 2, the original PlayStation 1 version. I'm doing it through an emulator though, so it is upscaled to 4K, so that's why some of the images here might look a little blurry that you may remember. But that being said, I know I haven't made much content on these old Twisted Metals, and that's going to change starting today. I'm going to record a couple videos on Twisted Metal 2, and then, I don't know, if you guys want to see Twisted Metal 1 gameplay, I definitely can do that as well. It's just not my favorite game in the series, so, you know, but I'll push myself to go through it if you guys want to see it. But today we are going to be doing a full tournament with, I think we're, I think we're going to do Axel. Main reason is because I, I don't think I've done a video on Axel yet, and I think this was like my favorite iteration of him in any Twist of Metal was in Twist Metal 2. I also never realized that like, oh my god, his body in this game is just a 2D little PNG. I never realized that. I guess as a kid growing up, looking at it, you just assume it's all 3D because the whole model is 3D. Uh, so that's kind of funny how they got away with that, with just making his body a 2D little character. But yeah, uh, going into the car info here, he has medium armor, which is honestly super surprising because his body is literally open to the elements. So I don't know how his armor is so good. His special weapon is, this is inaccurate. I think he has the best special weapon in the game, at least one of the best. It's super strong. The only downside to it is you have to be close to the enemy, and maybe that's why they lowered it to three, but I think his special weapon is definitely a five out of five. And then his speed, that's pretty accurate, two stars. So he's intermediate with the handling, and overall, I think he's an intermediate character. I don't think he's super difficult to control or to use, but he's also not the easiest either, and I think that comes down to his armor isn't the best, uh, but he has a really good special, so let's jump into it. Going into Los Angeles. It's, it's literally been probably six years plus since I last played this game. And I mean play it as like actually trying to win, not just necessarily playing it for gameplay uh, purposes for a video. So let's see if we can actually survive and make it all the way to Darktooth. The nice thing about these early Twisted Metals though is you can do a lot of ram damage with vehicles and, and Axel's a really good character to ram vehicles with and it doesn't do too much damage to yourself. Like, I think we just killed Twister. Yep, she's dead. Come here, Grasshopper. Like, look at how much... Look at that. We we almost killed her. Oh, man. She's gonna get away, though. Oh, never mind. She wants to fight. Dude. What is this? What is this freeze spam? Get back here. Oh, I just went right into a mine. Nice. Where the hell is she? There we go. She's dead. It might be the emulator glitching out, but I don't hear screams when people die. It's kind of weird. All the other sound effects seem to be working just fine, though. I love the little pedestrians running around. That's such a funny little detail. I'm surprised they got away with that, with a T rating back in the day. And there's even blood, too. There's, there's a few things that are questionable about this game. Like, how did they get away with that back in, what was it, 1997? Six? No. Gosh. Oh, there we go. Heard that guy scream. Just took, took a couple kills to get to it, I guess. They give you a lot of health uh, pickups in this map, too, which is kind of rare for Twisted Metal games. They pretty much made them non-existent on every map, it felt like. Get away! Ow! Holy shit. Special spam. Oof. That was really close. The Thumper special in this game is no joke. It does a ton of damage. Get destroyed, kid. There we go, man. That was that was murder right there. Got a couple power missiles here. But I have to freeze them, and my freeze is not working. You're gone, boy. Enemies toasted. Hey, we didn't lose any lives either, so that feels good. And whenever I come back to these old Twisted Metals, I always forget, do the lives reset after each match, or do you only have two lives throughout the entire tournament? I know with Twisted Metal Black, they reset each map, and same with Small Brawl. But I know Twisted Metal 3 and 4, they do not reset. You have like a set three or four lives the entire tournament, which really sucks. And I want to say with these original ones, it was the same. I think you only had a set amount of lives for the entire game. I don't think they reset each match, but I could be wrong. 
Oh yeah, this I I never liked this map. Moscow, I think it's Moscow. Just not that it's a small map cuz I don't I don't mind small maps at all, which was metal actually I actually really like them. But I, I never liked the dome nature of this map for some reason. And also just this map feels really plain. There's not much to it. I mean the the background's really nice all the mountains and stuff, but there's no secret things to find really or anything to, you know interesting to do. That's why I really think this map was probably one of the last ones on the drawing board to be made. There she's dead. She just yeehawed herself into hell. I also like how they have a speedometer. Like, I, well, now that I think about it, I think every twisted metal has a speedometer, but this one's really inaccurate. There's no way I'm going 100 miles an hour right now. <laughs> like, let's be real here. Oh, I missed. That was dumb. Oh, good. We got him anyway. Mr. Slam, you're next. Holy crap. They're going to overheat. But I want him dead. Yes. Warthog's last. But he's got like full health and I'm a little bit damaged. Not being able to freeze people is pretty crappy. I'm not going to lie. It might just be the emulator too with my controller. I'm using a PS5 controller so that definitely could be what's going on. And before people tell me, are you using the directional pad? Yes, yes, I'm not using analog, don't worry. But for some reason, my inputs just are not registering correctly. Even the fire missiles do pretty good damage. I'm not gonna lie. Or not fire missile, homie missiles. The homie missiles, I like to call them. Wait, what is he doing? Oh, did I find a glitch? Oh, he's moving. Damn it, I thought he was gonna just sit there until he died. That would have been so good. Uh oh. Wait, what? Oh, okay. So there is a secret thing I forgot about. You guys think you can blow up the, the ramps? That's pretty cool. Come on. Where is the health, man? I knew that was coming. Remember in the last map when I said there was a ton of health pickups and everything around us? Yeah, that uh, it's kind of ironic now. That could not be farther from the truth. All right. Well, we're going to find out if we get two lives again on the next map. Or if we're stuck with one for the rest of the tournament. So here we go. Going to Paris. Yeah, you, you do. You, you, you're stuck with the lives you got, I guess. That's that's a wonderful. So we're definitely going to be using some uh, level codes or whatever in this playthrough. I'm going to tell you right now. There's no way I'm going to make it all the way dark to the dying again. I'm not that seasoned. And I've never been good at Twisting L2. I'm actually curious to know if you guys would want to see this video. I I want to do like a remake of one of my most viewed videos on my main channel, which the reason I want to do a remake is because my main channel, I don't do gaming stuff on it anymore. All my gaming related contents here. So I originally made a video of ranking every twist of metal from worst to best. In my personal opinion, of course, it was, I never once in the video said like this is definitive and if you disagree, you're an idiot, you know, nothing like that. It was just my take on it. And I like to hear what people's other ranks are in the comments. And it did really well. I think a lot of people liked that video. Now, if you would like me to do a remake of that video, because, you know, I, it's been a couple years since then. I think that was over four years ago when I made that video. Uh, things change, you know, people change. My opinions have changed. I've played a lot of those games a lot more since then and gotten more of an idea of what I like and what I don't like. So... I will say that my list has technically changed a little bit since then, but not, not totally. So if you would like to see an update to that and uh, whatnot, let me know. What what the hell? How did I do that? I, I swear to God, I wasn't even hitting the directional pad like in a, you know, a move way. So I don't know how I got that shield to pop up, but here we are. But yeah, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, if you would like me to make a remake of that video, I definitely will for this channel. Let's blow up. The Eiffel Tower. Coolest moment in the entire game right there. As a kid, that just blew my mind that you could do that in a video game. And it unlocks this, like, whole other area up here, too. Shit. Got my way. Got a health bar up here. Oh, no! That was the main thing I did not like about the original Twisted Metals, is how slidey and slippery the vehicles feel. It just feels like you're driving on ice 
And like, yeah, I'll admit it does give the cars a little bit more of a sense of speed compared to like Twistmill 3 and 4, but it's just the handling is so bad. I love the sound effect for Shadow's special. There we go, there's Roadkill. Oh my god. Sweet Tooth with his freaking special spam. Well, we're in our last life already on map three, so that's, <laughs> we're off to a good start. Oh, I also should preference I'm not using any cheats or anything either for this playthrough. This is straight vanilla Twist Metal 2. I forgot to say that at the beginning. Also, it might be a limitation of the engine, I'm not sure, or if it was actually implied to be this way. But I always found it really funny in these original two Twist Metals, where like, if you, sh if you were driving really fast and shot a weapon, you'd like run into your own weapon and it wouldn't affect anybody. I always thought that was really funny. Oh, there is another health thing up there, but it's there's no way. Yeah. Ripperoni. All right. Had to use level code, but we're back. Also, I did look up the different uh, attacks that I can do. So freeze burst is left, right, up. I'm going to see if that works. Okay. I guess they work. I just didn't know the right commands. That's so funny. So left, right, up is, is freeze. Not... I guess it didn't count since I was doing left, right, up, up. <laughs> if you hit up again, it just cancels it out, I guess. Oh, no. Left, right, up. Left, right, up. You just have to do it at a perfect speed. Not too fast, not too quiet. Or what am I saying? Also, all those special was insanely strong in this game because as long as you attach to somebody with it, it didn't matter how far away they went from you. It would stay connected and still do double the damage. Where I think in every twist metal from this point on, like you had to constantly be within range to continue doing damage with your special, which makes sense. I've talked about that before, but that was one of my biggest annoyances with these early twist metal titles is how insanely like stupid the AI was in terms of just using specials. That's it. Like they don't use any other weapons on you except for freezing and specials. All right, let's see if I can get over here to this other health. Oh my God. The handling in this game, man. That was partially my fault, though. <laughs> Finally. Done with that map. On to, I think, Arizona? Amazonia? Whatever it's called. Which we also fight our first boss. Mr. Minion. The scariest Minion version in all of Twisted Metal, in my opinion. I guess technically you could argue that it's also the first Twisted Metal Minion is the scariest because it literally is the exact same like minion design and everything. I don't think even this, I think even the special is the exact same, but either way, I think that with this map, with the music, uh, this minion is, is just the most threatening in my opinion. Just super, super scary. No, the freeze spam. Get out of here, man. Deserved. I used to think the lava did a lot more damage to you than it seems to be doing to me. I also need to get turbo somewhere. Ow, grasshopper. Really? Okay, you're being a, a real big bitch right now. And I'm not having it. Wait, what? How'd you do that? Hello, bud. But now I'm screwed because I am less than halfway to death and i have no lives so yeah let's see how this goes there's big mama jamma i literally almost died already that is actually insane oh okay what is happening i'm gonna die already Okay, special spam is fun. All right. So, everyone's dead again and we're fighting Minion, and this time I didn't lose any lives beforehand. So hopefully we have a good chance at actually killing him this time. Otherwise, I'm going to cry. Because last time he killed me in, what, three hits? Like, just special spam me until death? Like, that was ridiculous. Man, if only my freeze would work, that'd be so cool. I'm just going to fucking try to grief his ass. 
I don't have any any weapons. <laughs> yeah, his tank is badass. Dude. I love his design. Especially when he kills me in cold blood. We did it. Oh my god. It only took two restarts and like nine lives. New York. Yes, the map where you can accidentally grief yourself. Let's go. This map actually was really like revolutionary for the time. It's a huge map for Twisted Metal 2. It's got a lot to do, a lot to see, a lot of secrets to find. And the coolest thing is you can literally fall to your death, which is pretty dope. Same with Antarctica, but we'll get to that sooner, sooner than later, hopefully. I'm going to try to kill Sweet as fast as possible because this is all he does. This is all he does. Thank you. He just sits there and shoots his special over and over and over again. I don't know why they programmed him that way. I mean, everybody else special spams in this game, but he is another level, dude. It's insane. Wee. I used to love dropping down in here when I was a kid. So cool, jumping in the pool. Are you kidding me? That, you're telling me that did not count. Are you kidding me? Thank you. All right. At least they gave it to me that time. You really didn't give me that much health, though, to be honest. Oh, I didn't. The jump didn't work. Great. I'm dead. Head dropped around right next to roadkill, didn't I? That's awesome. Yeah. I remember these games being really difficult, but my God, I was not expecting this. I'm not going to lie. How did I do this as a kid? I beat this game so many times as a kid. I just was more of a gamer. But yeah, the, the handling in these old games, man, they just... My biggest issue is how running into a wall does damage to your vehicle. Like, it makes sense, right, in real life. But in a fantasy twisted metal game, we don't need that. I like being able to damage vehicles by ramming each other. But when I hit a wall by accident, that should not do damage to my vehicle. Same with how, like, the littlest tiny, like, pixel can clip around a corner. And if you touch it, it just, like, stops in your tracks. It's so annoying. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Like, yeah, I'll be honest. I did not expect this to be this torturous. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, whatever. Fuck you. And moving on to Antarctica. We totally did not cheat to get here. Antarctica. So this map, I, as a kid, I always really hated this map because of just how difficult it is. Because it's over time, randomly pieces fall and it gets smaller and smaller as the map goes on. But honestly, like as an adult, looking back at it, this is a really insanely cool map in terms of its design. I'm going to die probably. I hope we made it. All right. It's look the features of it, the uniqueness, the creativity, I mean, everything around it, it's, it's a really sick, solid map. So it's definitely become one of my favorites over time, uh, you know, growing up as an adult. But that being said, we're probably still going to fall to our death, just like we did in New York. And more than likely, I'm going to rage quit it, but we'll see. I don't know what Sweet Tooth is doing, but I'm glad they're not special spamming. Yeah, just sit there, just sit there, just be, just be a good little Sweet Tooth. No, 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 there you go, there you go. The only good sweet tooth in this game is a dead sweet tooth. No. It's free spam, you piece of shit. Are you kidding me? He literally did five freezes on me within, what, 10 seconds? Maybe even less than that. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny. I was just like, it was kind of quiet. And I also just hear like his scream. Ooh. <laughs> well, he's dead. Roadkill's destroying my ass though. Oh, never mind. I just ran him over. <laughs> what the? Okay. Well, that was Antarctica. We did way better than I thought we were going to. I thought for sure that was going to be a, re a repeat level. So on to Holland. Now with Holland, you could look at it as, oh, it's just Washington DC with Twisted Metal 3. And in a way it is, I mean, it's just a flat open plane, but it's much larger. It has some more detail to it. 
the two different windmills are actually pretty cool. You can go inside them, teleport to the top, and destroy them to get some extra loot. And the music is fucking kick-ass. I mean, the music was really good in Twisted Metal 3, though, so can't really complain there, but... I never disliked this map. That's all I'm basically trying to say. And there's nine enemies. I think it's the most enemies in one map in the entire game. All right. And finally, I'm going I'm to die, aren't I? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was for sure going to die. Oh, God. So I took two restarts. But we finally got through that one. And now on to the, the final map, Hong Kong. And Hong Kong is interesting in this game because it's pretty much like two maps in one. Because as soon as you defeat everybody, you think, oh, I won the Twist Metal contest. But no, now you gotta fight Darktooth. You defeat Darktooth, and you gotta fight him again as just like a floating head. So, I guess in a way it's three maps in one? It's just, it's kind of confusing, and it's really insanely hard. So I'll repeat again, I don't, I honestly don't know how I beat this game as a kid. With how much trouble I've been having today. <laughs> and it's not like I'm playing a character that's bad either. I mean, Axel's really good in this game. Like, look at this, like his ram damage is just insane. If you use it to your advantage, um, you can get through people pretty easily. But everyone just likes to freeze spam and special spam in this game. It's so annoying. <laughs> just chased after to run her over. That's how you do it. Dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The fact that his special still goes even after he's dead is actually stupid. Oh my god, I'm gonna die, aren't I? On the last guy. Are you kidding me, dude? Alright. Fuck it. I am skipping this map. Dude, I have... I, you guys haven't seen it. I'm cutting it all out. I literally have read on this map six times. And that was the closest I've gotten. Like, he was at a sliver of health and I still died. So, yeah. We're just gonna skip to Darktooth. Because I am tired and we've been recording for two hours so yeah oh lord this is already going great music is balling though holy shit i can't really ram him too much because he kind of just runs me over i love his design though dark tooth is such a cool character it's scary as all hell with how big he is. Okay. Sweet, we did it. Now we gotta fight the head. Inside the giant head, you see the shriveled figure of an old man. Heads up, you freak. The senile fool screams. Oh, it just immediately starts damaging me. That's cool. I don't know if he's got the same... No, he does, and he's definitely weaker. God damn it. I'm almost dead. Did I get him? Oh my god, we did it. We did it. Oh, first try against him. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy to be done with this, guys. You have no idea. Axel stood before me and asked me for the one prize he wanted more than anything. The strength to face his father, who had bound him in this hellish contraption over 30 years ago. Why have you come back? I thought I'd gotten rid of you. Father, please, release me. You were always too slow, too damn stupid, and you still are. Gonna take ten more years on the wheels to set you right. You need to be taught a lesson. No, father, I've learned my lesson. Let me show you what I've learned. Oh my god. Oh no. no my god. Oh my god. I am a free man. And you are no longer my father. Axel disappeared into the Kansas fields. It's so crazy. To this day, he has yet to be seen. I am Calypso, and I thank you for playing Twisted Metal. 
Hell yeah, dude. There, the, the pain and the amount of like anguish you have to go through to get to the end of the game, the, all of the cutscenes are worth it by far. Twist Metal 2. They are some of my favorite. Second place to Twist Metal Black, but they are so good. Oh, but thank God we made it through. Only took two hours. <laughs> You know, if it wasn't for, or I guess I should say, even if it wasn't the fact that I had to restart the campaign multiple times uh, with, with codes to get to the, you know, the level I died on, even if you made it through the entire tournament without dying once, this game still takes almost twice as long as most of the other Twisted Metals uh, for their campaigns, t tournaments, I should say. So it's kind of, it's pretty cool, you know, how, how much gameplay you get out of this game. But it is, God, it is not easy. It is not an easy game. And it'll never take it for granted again. But yeah, that was it. That was a full playthrough with Axel in Twisted Metal 2. If you want to see more gameplay like this or more videos like this, please leave a like, share, support, and make sure to subscribe. That shows me that you want to see more stuff like this. And uh, I can't wait to make it. So with that, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.